They want us, in the chart for a practical session we have done earlier, the one where we listed income and expenditure and we made some graphical representation. We add to that graph that had made the titles. As title of the chart, evolution of income and expenditure, and as title of the horizontal axis, the word months. Then it tells us to place the legend at the top of the graph. We remember which this practical session was. We had this, this table with, with the set of income and expenditure for 12 months, for a year, and we had made in a separate sheet, we had made the chart of the representation in a clustered column chart of these values. So we saw what the income and expenses were. Okay, so what it tells us is to add a title. We know that when we select or click on a chart, the graph tools become available here, which have three tabs. The design, presentation and format tab. The design tab is the one that gives us pre-selected designs. We can alter the composition of the data, etc. But we have a representation in which we can indicate the additional elements that we want to edit or we want to add, etc. For example, the first button, this one, says chart title. It is selected that it has none and we can add a title, superimposed, scented, that says what they have indicated to us, which is income and expenses. Evolution of income and expenditure. Evolution of income and expenditure, okay. We see that we are introducing in the equivalent of the Excel formula bar. Let us remember that we are always in the Excel environment. And this is an additional sheet, albeit a chart sheet, not a spreadsheet, but it is an Excel sheet. So here we will always have the introduction of the data or the value that we are, that we want to add to the element that is selected in the chart, which is selected, the chart title, because we have introduced here, in this chart titles option, and anyway, so we when we hit enter, we have it here. We could also have double clicked in the same way that in an Excel sheet we can write in the formula bar line or we can write directly by double clicking on the cell, well in the same way we could have done in chart double clicking and writing here. So we have the title of the graph. Well, we have written it, we had two choices. The title of the graph, I have the option of superimposed or above. That is, if these bars here were 6,000 and something, it would have put it a bit above this bar. Here it's not such a problem because the default text format is not too big. But anyway, we could have accepted the norm. In fact, we have to indicate that the title of the chart goes above the graph. So what it does is it makes it all the bars, the columns, it makes them a little bit smaller, and it does not overlap what are the bars of the graph. The next thing it told us was to put in the categories axis, to put that here these are months. It is obvious that they are months, January, February, March. Anyway, we can put information in. So months, it is not what it asks us for, months of the corresponding year, or months in the which data have been taken. Any explanation, a little denser. How can we do it? We have to select this element of the graph. This element of the chart, we are going to select it right by clicking on it, which we think it has told us, so it indicates it with these markets, which we can hardly see. Or in this drop-down menu, we can select exactly the graph element that we want to edit now. In this drop-down menu, we are always going to have all the events that this graph contains, the chart that we are currently working on. So we have the area of the plot box, the R of the chart, the horizontal axis. Categories in here, here it is. The categories horizontal axis. Okay, so when we click, we see that it selects the names, January, February, March, April. And here what we want is, once it is selected, we tell it that we will add an axis header. 
and the first axis header none is selected and we are going to put a title under the axis. That is, underneath January, February, March, we're going to put that these are months. When we hit enter, it adds it for us and we see that we actually get a defect, an error, namely that it superimposes it or we don't like the location of our legend. And that is why it tells us, the next item of the exercise, to select the legend. And once the legend is selected to place it, using the corresponding drop-down of the button of Tools Presentation tab, to put it in as it told us at the top, at the top, and so it puts it right underneath the title. And we see that in this way, we have a much more stylish chart, much more comprehensive and ultimately, as it asked us for in the exercise.